My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be, to be. Are you ready for some high adventure coming up next on the Mutual Audio Network? The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. The Hawk Chronicles follow the adventures of Detective Kate Hawk, who went from a Baltimore police detective to intergalactic investigator, from fighting crime on the streets to crime in the stars. In the last episode of the Hawk Chronicles. Am I speaking to the famous Kate Hawk? Wong has been on our watch list for a couple of years. So I am making arrangement with your team to get you to Sweden to assist in the search. Hey, Nelson, C- come on in. Say, any chance I could... No. No, what? No, you can't go over there and tail her. Our resources are limited as it is. Commander, we picked up some radio chatter you might be interested in. Rage is assembling a cargo fleet to the Delta II asteroid belt. They have a copper mining operation there that's not in IDF hands. Welcome back, Agent Hawk. Ginger. We have a base operation set up for you in Gothenburg. A contact will meet you when you arrive. We've sent your contact photo, so they'll find you. Lynn was taken by Rage. And as best as we can determine, he's on Latumis with a prisoner known as 310. I am Anna. I think you might be looking for me. The model will be repaired and we shall conduct a new test in two days' time. And uh, if it uh, fails... Oh, it will fail, my friend. And now, episode 68, The Hunt. When uh, you are ready... What do you mean it will uh, fail when you are ready? I may be old, Professor, but I am no fool. You are coding the device to prevent any override for rage. Is that not correct? Yes. It will take a couple of days. Why do you ask? I want you to put in commands that would allow me to destroy the device with a power surge. I want to be able to initiate the command from the transmitting unit. If I see that the device is being altered to be used as a weapon, I want the capability to destroy it. This is a a difficult task. I can certainly give you the power to overload the circuits, but I cannot guarantee what the results will be. It could be a simple meltdown, or it could explode. My dear professor, I have already exceeded my true lifespan. I would gladly sacrifice what little time I have remaining, if it meant protecting our planet. I shall begin immediately. If anyone asks why I am working so long on coding, I will tell them that we must be assured that we are precisely on target. You say whatever it is you need to say to keep them distracted from our true purpose. I believe that once we have successfully demonstrated the particle beam, they will have no further use for us. Then I shall begin at once. So while you're here, take this bus pass. It will be good for the length of your stay. Just wipe it on the screen when you enter the bus. And it's coming now. Okay. When can we expect Sauron? He will arrive this afternoon. He's actually stopping in Stockholm first. What's going on in Stockholm? Our main office is there. He will be getting the latest information on Miss Wong. And then he will take the train here. No step travel? Sauron prefers normal travel. He says it keeps in in tune with the surrounding. Personally, I think he just liked the old ways. I think you're right. I've seen his car. Oh yes, I remember him telling me that you were abducted in his car. Yes, and when he finally found me, the first thing he said was, My car! What did he do to my car? You might be interested to know that his latest purchase is a motorcycle. (laughs) Well, if he thinks I'm going to ride around on the back of a motorcycle, he's badly mistaken. No, we have a car rental system here. This is very easy to use. Here, I'll show you on my phone. This app allows me to select the date and time I want. Then here, I select the model. When I get to the lot, 
I just swipe this card on the windshield and the car unlocks. I open the glove compartment and inside is a handheld device. I simply enter my PIN number and take the key and off we go. Wow, that sounds really simple. Yes, it is. A card in the car will purchase fuel if needed. Okay, this is our stop. We are right here by the bus stop. Our access code is 1949. This building is from the 1940s. We are on the third floor. Most of the time I use the stairs, but I wanted to show you this in case you have things to carry. The elevator is much easier. My goodness, this is the smallest elevator I've ever seen. It's crowded with just the two of us. Is this Soren's place? No, this is a safe house we use for our operations. In this section of the building, there are three apartments. The other two belongs to IDF personnel, so there's no problem with curious neighbors. Please come in. We have only one rule here in Sweden. You must take off your shoes when entering someone's home. Well, having lived in Asia, that's certainly a custom I'm familiar with. This is your room here. The bathroom is right here. Of course, this is the kitchen, over here. Over here is the dining area. It is small, but it serves the purpose. On the table here is the charging device for your communicator. And this unit? This is the direct line to Martin State. You can use this when you're charging your communicator. Oh yes, I almost forgot. In this closet, Ginger has supplied you with some extra clothing if you need it. Ginger really has good taste. These are perfect. By the way, the window and the balcony door is open to let in some fresh air. Do you want me to close it? No, that's fine. I could use some fresh air. If you have any questions, relay them to Ginger and she will get in contact with one of us. Sören will be here by this afternoon and you can get started. Thank you, Anna. You've been very helpful. Good luck and enjoy your stay in Sweden. I will. And thanks again. Kate Hawk for Camo check. I have you loud and clear. How do you read? Loud and clear. This new comm is nice. It's more like a phone. Yeah, the hands-free open mic makes them a lot easier to use, especially if you have your hands full. Speaking of a handful, what's the status on Soren? He's on the train from Stockholm. He should be arriving in a couple of hours. Still playing it safe. He's trying to keep a low profile. He wants to be seen traveling on public transportation instead of using a stiff. I suggest you rest up. You'll be dealing with jet lag, or in this case, dip lag. It's got to be rough on you, too. It's like working the night shift. I just adjust my sleep cycle to coincide with yours, so I'm good to go. Well, a quick shower and change, and I'll be ready to go. Thanks for the clothes, by the way. Not a problem. Did Anna explain the shower? Uh, no. It throws some people. There's no stall. The shower is over a drain hole. Before you shower, pull up the rug. Then after you finish, there should be a squeegee to push the excess water to the drain. And, oh, there's a button on the wall to flush the toilet. That's good to know. Anything else? We supplied what electrical appliances you might need. But remember, they're on a 220 volt system. So make sure anything you have is safe for 220. We left some plug adapters for you on the dining table. I'm good to go on that. I'll contact you if I think of anything else. I'll be here. Well, Mr. Barnes, welcome back. Mr. Pierman. Getting yourself reacclimated to Earth? I can't tell you how much I miss being able to order something to eat, knowing exactly what it was. So, uh, what's the status on Kate? I know she's in hot pursuit of some suspect in the Lynn kidnapping. She's just getting settled in. Her contact, Soren, will be arriving there shortly. So, uh, what are the chances on getting in on some of the action there? If you're talking about going to Sweden, your chances are nil. Kate and Soren can handle this one on their own. We need you back here. So, what's the status of your PI license? Yeah, just a few more paperwork hurdles and I'll be good to go. Hey, is uh, Robert around? I need him to touch up my scar appliance. He's over in the evidence storage area. I'll have him paged. Thanks. Hey, listen, you know, I got intel on Professor Lin from Nate. Intel? What kind of intel? Well, I know for a fact that Rage has him and has transported him to Latumas 
to be with that mysterious prisoner 310. That's about all we know, too. I don't know. I, I find that hard to believe, Pierman. I think your people know exactly who 310 is and why Rage has it. Jim, even if it were true, all of that information is classified, even beyond my clearance. You mean your own brother wouldn't clue you in on what was really happening? Our cultures are very much different, Jim. No, he wouldn't clue me in. Kate and I went around and around and around about this very subject before she left. Well, if Kate couldn't get anything out of you, I'm certainly not going to try. Have you heard anything back from uh, your brother yet? No, the controller wouldn't contact me unless it was a matter within my area of responsibility. Yeah, you're right. Your cultures are different. Uh, are you in contact with Kate? I'm receiving updates from headquarters. This particular op is being handled by Martin State. Well, then let's fire up the stip and get me to Martin State. Agent Barnes, one doesn't simply pop in unannounced. There's nothing you can do there. Kate is in good hands. I suggest you concentrate on getting your PI license in order and direct your attention to the Wong case on this end. She had to have left clues somewhere. I hate to admit it, but you're right, Pierman. Look, look, get Robert over here and fix me up with that new scar appliance, and I'll be on my way. Homeland just faxed over Cool's final autopsy report. Let's have a look-see. Let me guess. He died of arsenic poisoning. Brilliant deduction there, my dear Watson. But, this is interesting. He has a high level of lead in his bloodstream. Looks like he was pretty much a goner before the arsenic. Lead poisoning? Maybe he worked in a Chinese toy factory. I'm not real sure what it means, but we'll need to go a little deeper. Mac, check out his visa application again. See if there's any info on what he's been doing before coming here. What about Agent Hawk? Shouldn't we notify her about the autopsy report? The cap updated me this morning. Homeland has Hawk following leads in Sweden. Sweden? What in the world would a Chinese waitress be doing in Sweden? Living there. Sweden. Until recently, they had open borders. They took in 160,000 refugees before they had to clamp down on the immigration. Wong was one of the early arrivals. Homeland thinks she may have headed back there after we interviewed her. Maybe Agent Hawk needs an assistant there. Forget it, Mac. You're stuck here with me and Nelson. If it would help, we could go get some pickled herring. No thanks, I'm good. I'll just go and get started on this. Boiled cod soup? The materials you requested are currently being refined. Good. As soon as they have been processed to my specifications, we can proceed in building another prototype. Hopefully this one will not conclude with an explosion. We fully understand the process, Nicola. We will be patient, but I cannot stress enough the urgency of this experiment. If you succeed, we will be able to provide our own planet with unlimited power. You are speaking of electrical power, are you not? Yes, of course. This is the sole purpose of this experiment. We have separated ourselves from the Galactic Empire and need self-sufficiency. Unlimited electrical power will go a long way in achieving this. Then you shall have it. What is the timeline on getting the new coils? We expect to have everything you have requested in less than two days. I urge you not to rush. It is better to take the time now to do it right than to rush to failure. We will be ready. You concern yourself with your end, Nicola. Has the professor ready the guidance programming? He is making minor adjustments. His targeting was perfect for the test. He is now making calculations on a moving target, as we will have in the final product. Good. Proceed with your work. You can expect the materials in two days, as I have promised. The Supreme Controller is anxious to see your results. As am I, Lord Zokar. As am I. I settled in the safe house, even managed to watch a little TV. I was surprised that the majority of the programs were in English, with Swedish subtitles. Soren finally made it to Gothenburg and sent me coordinates to follow. They led me past a beautiful old church, several centuries old, to a small park where he was waiting. There were lines of bicycles and Volvos lined up ready to rent. Kate Hawk, welcome. Uh, this time to Sweden. Soren, nice to see you again. I was afraid you were going to meet me here with just a motorcycle. No, no, no. We're, we're going to rent the car for the day. Did the Ginger tell you how it works? She said you unlocked the door with a card. Yes, just like so over the windshield. Uh, now we can get in and buckle up. Uh, 
just just hand me the small terminal in the compartment there. Done. Now we put in the key, press the button, and off we go. And just where is it we're off to? Ukkira. We will take a short ferry there. In Swedish, uh, the O with the two dots over the top is our word for island. Uh, so you will see a lot of signs for areas that end in the O with the two dots on top. So what do you hope to find there? Uh, Wong was a friend with one of the inhabitants there. Uh, she worked with him for a short time in his processing plant. What kind of processing plant? Uh, well, it's actually a very small seafood processing facility. There are only a couple of workers there. But one of the workers knew Wong when she lived in Gothenburg. Uh, she went fishing with him on occasions and, and, and worked a few times in the plant with him. Do you think Wong would come back here? To this island? I don't... I don't think she would actually come here, but she might contact him if she needed help. What kind of help could she get out here? This guy is a fisherman. Uh, from his dock to Denmark is under three hours by boat, and Norway is maybe five hours or less. So if there's a problem with her traveling by car, rail or air, traveling by boat would, would be a good solution. Is it far to this Areco island? Uh, the ferry is about 25 minutes from here. Another 15 on the ferry, then just a few minutes to Rakan's house. Rakan? Uh, yes, with two dots over the A. I've never heard that name before. Does it have a special meaning? Yes, it's, it is Swedish for shrimp. You will understand when you see him. Commander Sims, hail from the controller. Patch him through COM-1. Affirmative, controller is on COM-1. Sir, this is Commander Sims, BSS. Commander Sims, I wanted to thank you for passing along that information from the Mercury. You can tell Captain Rogers and First Officer Nate that their cooperation in this matter will not go unnoticed. Yes, sir. We were able to confirm that Rage has been stepping up their mining of copper over all other minerals. Did the first officer relay any other information regarding Rage's recent mining activity? That's a negative, sir. However, we do think it has something to do with Prisoner 310 and another possible prisoner. We know that the other prisoner is a recent abductee from Earth. He is a university professor and an expert in computer programming. What do we know about 310? His exact identity is still classified. But I can tell you that he is a prominent scientist and an expert in electrical conductivity. Electrical conductivity and copper go hand in hand, but computer programming? How does that fit? That's what we're trying to piece together. If I may interject. Go ahead, George. There is a high probability that the copper being mined would be ideal for electrical conductivity. In such high refinement, I would place a high probability that the copper would be formed into coils, most likely to produce a generating device for electricity. The computer programming is most likely needed to control the electricity. If I were given more information on Prisoner 310, perhaps I could deduce the reason for such a device. I am in agreement with you, Robo-4. I will present this to the Council at our next session. In the meantime, continue to monitor all radio traffic and relay any new information to my office. Affirmative. Commander, a Deep Space Recon Squad will be docking within the next 12 hours. Make sure you give that ship a thorough inspection and a full resupply. They will be conducting recons over Latumus. Aye, aye, sir. We'll take good care of them. Transmission concluded. Thank you, George. Let's get ready for some company. Yeah, go ahead. It's your dime. We got the autopsy report on Cool. Everything is what we expected, except for the fact that he had high levels of lead in his bloodstream. How high? Enough that he was suffering from lead poisoning. Enough to kill him? Most definitely. That might be why he wasn't hesitant on poisoning himself. Any idea we picked up high levels of lead? We're still trying to gather the information on his background. It's a good chance he had some job in China that exposed him to high levels of lead. Yeah, it's curious that he was able to hold down a job. Lead poisoning can play havoc on your motor skills and memory retention. Unless... Unless what? Unless he recently received a massive dose of lead. You really think that's a possibility? Hey, I wouldn't put it past rage to poison someone, especially after their usefulness was used up. So you're saying that once Professor Lin was kidnapped, they took care of Quo? Well, it's only a theory, but uh, I'm just saying. It'd be hard to hold down a job if the lead poisoning had occurred over a long period of time. There'd certainly be some medical records. You don't just get sick all at once. All right. We'll keep digging into his past to see if he had any lead exposure jobs or lived in any high lead content areas. But, you may be right, it may have been one mass dose. Where are you headed now? I'm 
I'm going back to my place. I got a couple of weeks worth of bills to catch up on. Plus, I don't want anyone to see me, at least for a day. I got a new scar appliance from Robert, so, you know, a day away from everybody might make the change less noticeable. Sounds like a plan. I hope you're all right. I worry about you sometimes. You need to eat more vegetables. Hey, I get veggies. Green peppers on your frozen pizzas don't count. <laughs> Listen to you, Mr. King of the Chili Dogs. Look, keep me in the loop. Will do. So, uh, what do you think of these islands? They're beautiful. The first thing that struck me was that they're solid rock. Yes, they were carved by the Ice Age millions of years ago. Our islands back home are low and covered with grasses and trees. <clears throat> if you go to the East Coast Archipelago near Stockholm, you will see islands like that. They have trees and are flatter and uh, ooh, I think I see Rakan up there waving. Ah, <laughs> okay. Now I see why you call him Shrimp. <laughs> What's his real name? Oh, he, he is Henrik. He may be a small guy, but his heart is as big as a lion. He spent many years fishing the North Sea and is well respected as a captain. If there is time after our investigation here in Sweden, I'm sure he would take us to Marstrand. It's the last island out and the site of a famous fortress. I'd love to do that, but you know the IDF will want me back as soon as possible. Maybe someday I can come back here as a tourist. Okay, Hendrik's English is only fair, but he tries. His friends always tease him about his Swedish. His accent is very different. Sometimes they will say, Okay, Rakan, now what is that in Swedish? Or how do you spell it, for example? <laughs> it's the same back home. Some of our islanders have their own unique accents and are hard to understand. Ah, gott att se dig igen. Jag önskar jag kunde säga det samma. Nej, det är inte min pigg i det. Min partner från Amerika, Kate Hawk. Hello! Nice you meet you. Uh. I'm Henrik. Hello, Henrik. It's so nice to meet you. So, please, come in. It's a little bad weather today. Please, please. We go into kitchen. You can put the shoes here. This is a very beautiful home you have here. Yes, we changed the original house. We tear down the house, but we keep the... Uh, how say my grunden? Foundation. Yes, foundation. We keep that, but uh, make a new house on that. Well, it certainly is beautiful. Thank you. Can I get you a drink? I have um, strawberry mineral water. Oh, that's very kind, Henrik, but I had some water on the way over. Uh, Kate is with the American government. Uh, together we are trying to find Wong. Have you heard from uh, her lately? Is she in trouble? She may have information on the abduction of a very important Chinese professor. What is abduction? Bortförande. Oh, someone took her. You think she know about this? Yes. She worked at a restaurant with another man. Together they were the last two to see the professor. I'm hoping she may have information on what happened. I have for many years working with Wong. I think she's a good person. Uh, many times uh, she go with me to the sea for fish. She works very hard and is a very, very... Uh, and good gub. Uh, dependable. Yes, dependable. I know her also from the restaurant where she worked. She was a very good waitress. But it's important that I speak with her about the case. Have you seen her recently? I have not seen her for a long time, but she uh, called me yesterday. This is very important, Henrik. Uh, we need to find her. What did she say? She asked if I still had a boat, and if necessary, I could take her to Denmark. Did she say why? No, no. Uh, she only said that she might have to go to Denmark on short notice. She had a relative that was ill. Okay. But I did not believe she had family in Denmark. So I told her that my boat was uh, itordocka. Uh, a dry dock. Yes, dry dock. So she tells me 
I go to my friends. Can you help me with train cost? And where did she go? To Stockholm. Kate and Soren must now pursue Wong to Stockholm, while the investigation of Quo leads to lead. And on Latumus, Nikola has a plan to spoil any attempt to turn his device into a weapon of mass destruction. Tune in next week as Kate heads to Stockholm in the next episode of The Hawk Chronicles, Gamlestan. Tune in next week at 12.30 for the continuing adventures of The Hawk Chronicles on Radio 1240 WCEM AM and streaming live on 1240 WCEM.com. You can listen to classical and brand new audio dramas through the Mutual Audio Network. Subscribe through Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, or iHeartRadio today. There's eight different podcasts, one for each day of the week and genre, and the Mutual Audio Network broadcast feed so you don't miss a day of your favorite shows. Subscribe to Mutual Audio tonight. Good night.